And at the end of the day, this is still a really decent camera. It wouldn't necessarily be the first camera I would pick up. And there's a couple of different reasons, at least two main reasons. The one being it cannot do 4K at 60 on the front or the back. So only 4K at 30 on the back and only 1080p at 30 on the front. In this day and age, I mean, we are literally past that like crazy. We are like 4K at 60 at the minimum nowadays. So the fact that this can only do 4K at 30 on the back is a pretty big difference in my opinion. I think the front camera though is still pretty decent but as stated it would be better if this thing kind of topped it off with something a little bit better and i think the second thing is probably the lack of you know extra sensors on the back had this thing had like a telephoto or ultra wide sensor that would have made this thing so much better but unfortunately it's not really the case so in terms of the camera setup in 2021 i'll probably tell you like i think it's a pretty good camera setup still i probably rate it like an 8 out of 10 when you consider the price tag actually i'll say like a 7.2 out of 10 when you consider the price tag and everything like i said it's not like the best camera ever made but for the price tag that when this thing first came out, it's pretty decent in my opinion. But I